everyone, and welcome to the Developing a Topic Assignment Overview video. In this assignment, we are going to go through the very beginning of the research process, but even though it's at the beginning, it's one of the areas that students struggle with the most, and that is developing a topic. A lot of times, you'll have to pick a topic that's assigned to you, or you may start with a topic that's really broad and you have to find some kind of way to develop that towards a actual focus. So in this assignment, we're gonna practice some steps in a process to move you from a broad general topic towards a more focused research question. The research question is the thing that you want to answer through your research. Research is an explorative process, so you're going to be looking at what other people have done before and then combining that into your own new work. Answering that question is thus you joining in on that conversation. So in this assignment, you'll experience the process of developing a topic and research question. This process includes several stages, each of which helps you explore your broad topic and develop a more focused area for your research. You end not with an overwhelming topic, but a manageable research question. You will start with listing some initial questions you have about the topic. Then you will locate, read, and summarize some reference sources to build your knowledge of the topic. Reference sources are those sources that come kind of towards the end of the information cycle. They give overviews of information. So they're good places to start your research. You will identify some narrower focused areas based on your reading, and then these focused areas will be crafted into your research questions. For part one, you just need to list your topic and some initial questions. These should be things that you either don't know or that you want to know about your topic. You just need to include two or three of them. These initial questions are gonna be things that we try to answer while we look at the reference sources. For part two, we're gonna use two reference sources to gain information. We haven't really looked at reference sources before. So here's some things to keep in mind. These should not be periodical articles, meaning they should not be magazine, newspaper, or scholarly journal articles, and they shouldn't be in-depth books. So we're probably not gonna use the library catalog or any of the periodical databases that we've used up till this point. We'll use those more later when we get to the bibliography. Instead, you're going to use either reference databases or online reference sources. Just like we have article databases, we have some databases that specialize in reference material. I have several that are linked here in the assignment. Those are the ones that I suggest using based on how well the searches for students have gone in the past. Remember that if you're off campus, you will need to log in with your W number and password being your six digit birthday in order to access these. There are also online reference sources. These are things like Wikipedia, government websites, and professional organization websites. These resources will still give you some background, but they're not usually as in depth and specific as some of the resources you'll find here from the library. For the assignment, you're going to want to find one from a reference database and one from an online reference source. For your citations, these should be MLA 8th edition, and you can use any citation tool or appropriate book to help you with this part of the project. I do have some recommended resources here in the assignment, and then you'll cite both your reference sources here. Once you've located and cited your reference sources, you're going to summarize them. In a comprehensive paragraph, summarize the main points of both of your sources, meaning you have to talk about both, not just one. Your paragraph should also include what you learned or found interesting and any answers to your initial questions. You should provide enough detail and explanation to demonstrate a more specific understanding of your topic. So our goal here with reading these two sources is to develop a working knowledge and the summary that you're giving me here is going to showcase what you have learned. Your paragraph should primarily be in your own words but you may quote or paraphrase if necessary. 
if you do quote or paraphrase from your sources, you need to provide an in-text citation. And I give an example of that here in the assignment because I know we haven't really talked about that yet. Once you've read and summarized your sources, we're going to start with developing a research question. The first step of that is actually to list some narrower and focused topics. These identifications are going to be what we then convert into the research question. So for step one, list five narrower topics. These should be things that you learn from your readings, and they should be more specific than the initial keywords you started with. These can be single words, names, or phrases that reflect different aspects of your larger topics. Some ideas could be new vocabulary or ideas that you learned more specific issues or topics within or related to your initial topic, individuals or groups affected or involved, and then environments or settings affected or involved. You're also going to list five focus topics. So you will take any or several of your narrower topics and focus them using the context that we discuss in the class readings. Some context might be who or population, when, or era or history, where, geography, what discipline or subject interests you, and what other topics might be related. Finally, once you have your narrower and focused topics, you're going to write the research question. Choose the two focused areas that most interest you and use them to create two research questions. When you're writing these research questions, keep in mind that these should require investigation and therefore cannot be easily answered via a Google search or an encyclopedia. The question should also be clear in what you hope to explore during your research. So you want to make sure that it's as straightforward and clear as possible. You'll be using one of these two research questions in our next assignment, which is the research log. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you do need further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact me.